We are ben, I'm Ben, this is JP, Ani, and John, and we created a game called Regime Change. Um, in order to help you all share in our excitement for this game, uh, we created a short uh, trailer, so uh, here it is. Regime change. 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 Uh, hi, so again, I'm Ben. This is JP, Ani, and John, and we're the creators of Regime Change. Regime Change is a massively multiplayer real-time strategy game that combines elements from hit games like StarCraft and Agar.io with an aesthetic that borrows from some of our favorite movies like Breaking Bad and Mad Max. Um, when we were coming up with the idea for this game, we really wanted to create a game where everyone who played uh, played together in the same world. So in order to achieve that, Socket.io is a really helpful tool. Um, whenever a player walks across the screen, they're actually sending their coordinates as they move to our server and then we're relaying that information to everyone else who's playing so that everyone sees the exact same thing. We also used Socket.io for security and validation. So for example, whenever a player builds a building, they actually contact the server twice. The first time the server validates that the player has collected enough money in order to build the building. And then the second time uh, the server validates after the player has selected where to build the building that the player's chosen a valid location. Um, in this way, we're able to make sure that players can't cheat by typing JavaScript into the browser console. Um, so here to talk about uh, collision detection is JP. Thank you, Ben. So when developing regime change, it was very interesting to do with collision and pathfinding. Uh, and for this, we divided the world into binary tiles, the ones that are walkable and the ones that are not, meaning uh, the ones that are not are the buildings in our case. Uh, once we had this binary world, we implemented the A-star algorithm, uh, which tries to find the shortest path and stores data into a graph, uh, graph data structure. A-star is an optimization of dra drag stress, as it doesn't have to look through all the potential paths. Uh, it starts by looking through the most likely shortest path. If that path is not walkable, it will look for the other ones until it finds the shortest walkable path, as you can see in this diagram. So Ernie will talk about how we rendered the HTML5 canvas. Thank you, JP. OK, so to visually represent our game on a canvas, um, we decided not to use any uh, third-party libraries, gaming libraries like Pixie or Phaser, because we were really curious to see how things are done under the hood. So instead, we used a request animation frame method on a window object that um, updates the um, canvas, HTML5 canvas, um, 50, uh, 60 times a second. Uh, it's more efficient and accurate than set timeout method. Uh, another optimization that we made in a game, it was um, indexing the money back that you see on the screen by coordinates that reduced the lookup and uh, removal time complexity from O of N to O of 1. Now John will talk about the combat in a game. Yeah, we all support world peace but we also wanted to give our players the ability to defend themselves. So, <laughs> um, originally, it was very slow and expensive to have all our units check to see if there were any enemy units in their range. Um, this is because it was like giving them a phone book that lists people alphabetically and asking them, hey, find everyone that lives close to you. Instead, we used our trees from the Arbush Library, which actually gives them a phone book that indexes by neighborhood rather than alphabetically, and this helped our units find enemy units much more efficiently. Um, this works so well that our CPU actually only uses about 0.1% of its processing time on our entire combat system. So we as a team, as you can see, had an awesome time making Regime Change, and we hope you'll join in on, in our fun at regimechange.tk. Thank you very much.